Hello guys, good evening to everyone. Thank you, Jen. Good evening, thank you very much for the ones that are already here. Thank you for always being on time. Uh, well, so welcome once again to another class, another day, something new that we're going to learn today. So guys, uh, well, for today, as usual, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic. So, which means the topic that we saw yesterday, okay? So, um, what do you guys remember about yesterday's class? Who can tell me something to participate, to say something? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Present continuous. Okay, Felix, what can you tell me about present continuous? Uh, what can you tell me about present continuous? No? Uh, uh, Reading mm -hmm. uh, in E L I E G J uh, reading ah make up no problem. So let me see. I'm going to ask someone else because I need to verify that you clearly understood what we saw yesterday. So uh, let me see, Francisco. Francisco, what do you remember about present continuous, Francisco? <clears throat> Hello? Okay. Hello, Francisco, are you there? De lo que vimos ayer. Yes, what do you remember about present continuous? De, los, no? de las reglas que, que estamos viendo. Well, no, I mean, la pregunta es, ¿qué entendiste? What did you understand or what do you remember? ¿Qué recuerdas about present continuous? Mm -hmm. So, digamos que es el, el, uh, lo, que, lo que se está haciendo, la acción. An action, el, an action el, that we're doing el, at the moment. Someone else momento. would like to participate or say something about present continuous? Yes. Okay, Julio, go ahead. We use present continuous when we talk about action on happening well, at the talking, moment. Okay, an action that we're doing at the moment. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much, guys, the present continuous. So yesterday we saw present continuous focused on affirmative and negative sentences. Now, we're going to do, uh, no, it's, it's gonna be like a quick practice, una práctica rápida. So I need everyone to go to the chat, chat que tenemos en la llamada. So, how would you say, como dirían, estoy usando mi teléfono? Yo estoy usando mi teléfono. So I need everyone, que todos escriban su oración en el chat de right now. I repeat again, repito de nuevo, yo estoy usando mi teléfono. Please be honest. No se vayan al Google Translator, ¿ok? Si no lo sabe, no lo pongo. Be honest. Honesty. So I have Juan Peñate already. Julio, ¿ok? I got two answers already. We are 13. Somos 14. I am using myself. Ok, so I'm expecting the other ones something. I'm using my telephone, I'm using my cell phone. Okay, I am uh, have using my cell phone, okay. 
All right, so I see different opinions here. So I got Juan, Julio, Rebecca, Jessica, Jorge, Oswaldo, Elena, Beatriz. What about the others? I should have at least 13. Okay, and I just have two, four, six, seven. Seven, okay, I got another one. Francisco, okay. No se escucha, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I had my microphone off. Thank you so much. Um, I was checking here and I can see that the majority of correctly. For example, Juan says, I'm using my cell phone. Julio, correct. Rebecca, too. Jessica, it's okay, too. Jorge Luis, okay. Oswaldo, um, we have something there. Me agregas. How? Why? Por qué? No sé, me viene a la mente. Okay. It's okay. Now, remember <laughs> that. Hay que recordar que en el press solo usamos el verbo to be, which is an auxiliary, and the main verb with ing. Principal con ing. So then the others are okay. Francisco, something happened there. Nos faltó algo ahí, Francisco. Sí, what is el verbo, to be. The bird be, correct. Thank you. Sí. Now, let's see. Um, who can, if I have this bird, let me just give you um, a bird. And let's see if you remember the rules. If I have the verb, let me just write it here. Si tengo el verbo, fly, fly. ¿Cómo quedaría en present continuous? Flashing. Okay. Jorge Luis, thank you. All right. I want to. El Jessica Beatriz, okay. Julio, I can see it, okay. Rebecca, Patricia, okay, thank you very much. Let me just check here. Okay. I see that the majority got it correct. So I guess we're clear on that. What about if I have, uh, I have that, try, tratar, el verbo try. Beatriz, thank you. Jorge Luis, Francisco, Julio, Juan, Elena, Jessica, Rebecca, thank you very much. All right. So, from those, por todos aquellos que contestaron, vamos Juan Peñat. What does the rule says? ¿Qué dice la regla? ¿O por qué tú piensas que es así? Try. Why? What does the No lo escuché muy bien, pero sí me dio algo. O sea, que me está preguntando por qué es que se escribe así. Este, simplemente se le agrega el ING porque no, no es ninguna de las otras opciones donde, digamos, lleva consonante, vocal, consonante, que se le, si se sustituye o se duplica la última letra. En cambio, en este creo que no, no es así, sino que simplemente se le agrega el ING. Okay, nos fuimos por la tangente, pero sí, makes sense. Now, let's see, uh, Rebecca, what do you think? You remember the rule? ¿Te acuerdas de la regla? Do you remember it? Rebecca? Eh, 
Escucho un poco cortado, teacher. Repita, por favor. Okay, so I, I was asking you if you remember the rules. Si te recuerdas de la regla. Eh, de los verbos terminados en ye. I don't know. Vamos a ver si, si te acuerdas <laughs> por, qué. por qué piensas tú que a este solo le, lo hacemos de esa manera. Trying. ¿Por qué? What does the rule says? ¿Qué dice? Bueno, yo creo que es por lo de la, la fuerza de, de voz, creo. Ok. Let's see. All right, so you, I mean, you kind of understood a little bit about it. So, uh, la regla dice, incluso ayer la vimos, that the rule says that when we have a letter Y or when a word ends in the letter Y, what do we do? We easily just add ING at the, I mean, at, at the verb. That's what we usually do. Okay, so um, do not forget that, for example, what happens, ¿Qué pasa si el verbo termina en IE, IE? What happens? The change in Y. The letter Y, and what else? Add ING. We add ING, correct. So it's good that I see that some of you uh, already understood the rules about Present continuous. So today, guys, today's class is it's also going to be about present continuous, but today is going to be different. What is the difference? Yesterday we saw how to make sentences positive and negatives, right? So today we're also going to see present continuous, but we're going to focus on questions. We're going to focus on questions in another part that is going to, that is also taken into consideration as part of the present continuous. So we're going to have a brief definition about present continuous, which is the same one that we had yesterday. Okay. So let me just go ahead and show you this part right here. So I'm going to ask for help to Beatriz. Go ahead, Beatriz. Beatriz. No, lo siento, okay. I just want you to help me reading, reading this part that we have here. We use the present continuous to talk about action happening now, at uh, the moment. At the moment. Okay, so as it says there, once again, we use it to talk about actions that happen at the moment. Um, we're going to just check the same example that we saw yesterday. Alice is riding her bike. So this one we saw it yesterday. I'm not going to stop in this one, and we're going to go directly to see how we can make questions using present continuous. We call this type of questions, a este tipo de preguntas, le llamamos yes and no questions, positives, positivas. Why? Because every time that I say something like that, cuando alguien le haga una pregunta así, usted va a responder yes or no depending on what this person asks you. For example, am I reading? Estoy leyendo. Am I reading? Como respondería? Just let me write it here. Moment. Okay, here we have. You are. Okay. Does anyone know? Alguien entiende por qué respondo con you si la respuesta es con I? I mean, what, uh, por qué respondo con you if the question is with I? Does anyone of you know why? For, for, the, for the, the, the person? 
For the person, yes. Because I'm saying, es como que yo le esté preguntando a alguien. Am I reading? Estoy leyendo. Y la otra persona me contesta, yes, you are. That's the reason why. It would be def different if I say, are you speaking? ¿Cómo respondería esto? Any idea? Yes, I am. Yes, yes. I am. Correct. Okay. Who was that person? ¿Quién fue que dijo eso? Who said it? No, I, I couldn't check it. No pude fijarme who said it. Juan, it was you? Oh, yeah, Juan. Yeah, I can see it right there. Okay, thank you, Juan, so much for that. Now, it's going to be the same thing, guys. Remember here, the verb be is only an auxiliary. El verbo to be acá is only an auxiliary. So, we have this formula, let's say, which is verb be, el verbo to be at the beginning, then the subject, and then the verb, plus ing, and ing. So we have, am I reading? Are you speaking? Is he crying? Is she eating? Is it cooking? Are you telling? Are we sleeping? Are they skiing? Okay. Now, as you can see here, all of these questions, cada vez que alguien le haga una pregunta, sí, que inicie por el verb be, siempre it would always be a yes or no question. Siempre va a ser una pregunta de sí o no. Always. We're going to see, vamos a ver otro tipo de preguntas. We're going to see another type of questions that we can do with present continuous, which are going to be different. And those are not going to be yes or no. Those are going to be different. So, the only ones that we are going to always say yes or no are these ones. Which ones? The ones that start with the verb to be at the beginning. Okay. Now, can I have a volunteer to help me reading at least, well, the whole chart, todo el cuadro? Can I have a volunteer? Okay, no volunteer. Yeah. Elena, Elena, go ahead, please. Uh, I'm reading. 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 Mm -hmm. Are you speaking? Mm -hmm. Speaking, okay. Is he eating? Okay. Eating. Eating. Mm -hmm. Is she cooking? Okay. Is it taking? Telling. Telling. Are you sleeping? Sleeping. Are we skin? Skin. Okay. And the last one say it with the same. La última dilo con el mismo verbo el último. Are they skin? Okay, now, those verbs, any idea of what's the meaning of read? Alguna idea de que es el verbo read? Leer. Leer, teacher. Verb speak. Hablar. 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 The verb cry. Llorar. Llorar. Verb eat. Comer. 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 Verb cook. Cocinar. Cocinar. Verb tell. Llamar. Llamar. Decir. No. Decir, exactly. Decir. No. Sleep. Dormir. Dormir. And skin. Esquiar. Esquiar. That's the verb ski. So, okay. Um, another thing that I want to tell you guys. Este es un error que lo vamos a corregir desde ya, que ustedes se van a mover a otro nivel. Every single time, cada vez que usted tenga un verbo, una palabra que inicie con letra S y no tenga otra letra al inicio, favor quitarnos esa mala pronunciación de decir una letra E al inicio. 
La mayoría de veces, en vez de decir speak, solo el sonidito de la S, tienden a decir speaking, con una E al inicio. That's not possible in English. ¿Ok? Nunca. Never say that. So, en esta no es sleep. Con esa E al inicio, no. No es sleep. Solo es el sonidito de la S. ¿Cuál es el sonido? So, every time, cada vez que tengamos una palabra que inicie con S, por favor, nunca decir una letra E al inicio. Se dice hay veces por cuestiones de nuestro idioma, tendemos a decirla así. But no, a partir de ahora, do not do that. So, here is speak, sleep, skin. Nada de speak, nada de sleep, y nada de skin. Nothing like that, okay? So forget about it. Sí, hay que olvidarnos de eso, and let's try to do that, uh, to do the right pronunciation, so we don't have any situation like that. Now, Jansi. Hello, Jansi. Hi. Hey, Jansi, can you please go ahead and make the pronunciation of the whole thing, the, the ones we have here, all of them. Am I ready? Mm -hmm. Are you speaking? Okay, that was good. Is he rising? Crying. Crying, pardon. Sorry. Is she? Eating, eating, eating. Okay. Is it cook? Cooking. Yeah. Cooking. It. Uh, are you sleeping? No. no. Tell. Uh -huh. Tell. Telling. <laughs> Telling. Okay. Are we sleeping? Hmm. Escuché una E al inicio y no la S. Sleeping, no. Ok. Sleeping. That was way better. Last one. Are, espérate, mi amor. Are they skin? Ok, that was good. Thank you very much, Chancy. Now, uh, I understand that probably eso de quitarnos la letra, de decir una letra E al inicio, is going to be difficult at the beginning, but then it's going to be normal. So here we have another way, or here we have like more examples. Now, in this case, I would like to have, let me see, Patricia. Patricia, can you please go ahead and help me reading the, this part here? Um, I, uh, waiting. Mm -hmm. Um, are you eating? Okay. Is he swimming? Okay. Is she walking? Okay. It, well, Puedes repetir is, los mismos verbos. Is, it is walking? Mm -hmm. um, are we eating? Mm -hmm. Are you eating? Are they swimming? Okay, thank you very much, Patricia. Now, another thing, guys. Otra cosa en pronunciación. Si a usted se le hace más fácil, if it is easier for you to say, am I? Diga, am I? But in English, cuando se está hablando de una manera más fluida, se dice, am I? Am I? ¿Sí? Pero si a usted se le hace más fácil decir am I separado, it's okay. The way you feel more comfortable with. De la forma en que se sienta más, más, más tranquilo. But if you want to, uh, to sound more fluent, si quieres sonar un poco más fluido, instead of saying am I, te puede decir am I, am I painting, painting. Are you eating, swimming, en este verbo, chicos? La letra L no se pronuncia. 
No decimos walking ni walking. No. Decimos walking. Walking. Sí, la letra L jamás la vamos a pronunciar. Y la letra A no se pronuncia como A, se pronuncia como O. So, let me see. Vamos a escuchar. Julio, say it. Walking. Great. Patricia, say it again. Walking. Great. Jancy, say it. Well, she's not there, probably. Felix, say it. Walking. Great. Oscar? Walking. Great. Francisco? Walking. Say it again, de nuevo. Walking. Okay, that was good. Jessica? Walking. Great. Juan Peñate? Walking. Wilfredo? Walking. Great. Beatriz? Walking. Thank you, Elena. Walking. Great. Oswaldo. Walking. Jorge Luis. Walking. Say it again. Walking. Mm, escucho una A. So remember, it's not A, it's, it's O. Walking. Walk. 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 Okay. Rebecca. Rebecca? Well, she's probably not there either. So, okay. So it's, it's necessary, guys, que a partir de, de este momento empecemos a hacer correcciones en la pronunciation, okay? It's better. Let's see, Beatriz, ¿cómo les dije que podemos decir acá? Hey, I'm a... Amei. Am I? Am I? Okay. Am I? That's only solamente es para sonar más fluido. Pero si usted quiere decir am I, that's okay. Está bien. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Can I have a volunteer to read answers? The yes or no answer. Yes, teacher. Felix, would you like to participate? Yes. Okay, Felix, I need you to help me with this part. Solamente con las positives. This part here. I am. Okay. You are. Okay. He is. Mm -hmm. She is. Okay, it remember, is. Felix, acá no es she. Es she, como que está riendo pollos. She. She. Ok. She. Mm -hmm. It is. Ok. We are, you are, they are. Correct. Thank you very much, Felix. Someone okay. else would like to participate now in helping me with the negatives? Me. Ok, Julio. Go ahead. Negatives. I'm not. Okay. You aren't. I need you to start with this. No, and then like no. that. No, I not. Mm -hmm. No, you aren't. Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. No, she isn't. Okay. No, he isn't. Mm -hmm. No, we aren't. Okay. No, you aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. That was good. Really good pronunciation, Julio. Thank you very much. Now. Questions, preguntas hasta el momento. No? Okay. La última clase, chicos, which is on Thursday, que nuestra última clase es el jueves. Todas aquellas pronunciaciones que he elegido corrigiendo, se las voy a preguntar. Y vamos a ver si es cierto que se las aprendieron. Dado el punto que nadie tiene preguntas. Así que yo asumo que todo está claro como el agua. Clear as the water. Ok. So I'm going to move on. So. This is another type of questions. Este es otro tipo de preguntas. 
why it is different. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? Here, as you can see, como pueden, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just, okay, here we have. ¿Qué es lo que cambia acá? Tenemos algo que en grammar or in English le llamamos WH questions. Las preguntas WH, WH questions. Que son who, any idea of what's the meaning of who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? What? ¿Quién? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? When? ¿Cuándo? 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 Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? How? ¿Cómo? 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 Excellent. That was good. Now, pay attention to pronunciation. Who? What? When? Where? Why? How? Sí, no quiero que me vayan a estar diciendo how. No, that doesn't exist. El problema acá es que usted la dice como how, eh, va a estar diciendo algo eh, bastante fuera de contexto en un, en un sentido algo sexual. So pay attention to that. Hay que prestar atención. Es por eso que la pronunciación es importante. So important. So remember, this is how. How. So. To these ones, a estas le llamamos WH questions. ¿Qué significa? That every single time, cada vez que usted vea que una pregunta inicia con WH questions, it means that you will never, never, ever, nunca va a responder con sí o no. Never. Why? Because it's different. ¿Cuáles son las que respondíamos con sí o no? Which ones? ¿Cuáles? The verb to be. The ones that start with the verb to be. Thank you, Patricia. So, those are the only ones that we are going to answer with yes or no. But these ones, in present continuous, si inicia con WH question, never. So, we have, who am I reading? Or, what am I reading? ¿Qué estoy leyendo? What am I reading? ¿Por qué no puedo contestar con sí o no? Because it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido. Si yo le pregunto, what am I reading? Usted no me va a decir yes. ¿Qué estoy leyendo? Yes. No, it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido. So that's the reason why. Esa es la razón por la cual. We give long answers. Damos respuestas largas. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Si yo le pregunto a alguien, What are you reading? ¿Qué estás leyendo? Esa persona me tiene que contestar, I am reading a horror, horror book. Un libro de terror. Reading a horror book. See? If you can see. Yes. I, I cannot listen to you. Patricia, did you say something? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sorry. It's, that's it's cut enough. Yeah, my bad. Um, let me just check the internet connection. Sí, porque si en un momentito lo sentí cortado por ahí. Well, but I'm going to repeat what I was saying. Voy a repetir lo que estaba diciendo. So if I ask you, what are you reading? ¿Qué estás leyendo? Yo no puedo contestar yes or no. I cannot say so. No puedo decir eso. So I'm going to say, I am reading a horror book. Estoy leyendo un libro de terror. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una consulta. En la primera pregunta no la entiendo. Porque who es quién. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué me estoy leyendo? ¿O cómo es? Oh, ok. I mean, um, acá solo están las WH questions. No significa que esta, oh. esta o que esta vaya con esta o que esta con esta. No. Oh. It's just in general. Okay. Solo están todas ahí. Ah, ok. Gracias. Yes, it's just to make sense. Aquí le vamos a encontrar sentido. That, por eso es que la cambié. No puedo decir, who am I reading? That's, that's not, no, no tiene sentido. ¿A quién estoy leyendo? A no ser que sea algo fuera de lo normal. That, that will be something, probably something different. But, I mean, um, as I was saying, we will always have to give long answers. Siempre vamos a tener que dar respuestas largas. Long answers, okay? For example, another one. Where are we cooking? ¿Dónde estamos nosotros cocinando? ¿Dónde estamos cocinando? ¿Alguien tiene una idea de qué podríamos responder? Where are we cooking? We are, we are cooking in a jar. In the jar. Yeah, in the jar. Why not? In, in el patio. In the jar. That's good. Or we can say we are cooking in the park. We are cooking at the church and iglesia, at school. We're cooking everywhere. Sí, porque estamos preguntando dónde estamos cocinando. So we can give any place. But at least you have an idea. Now, does any one of you have any question? ¿Alguien tiene pregunta? Is something that is not clear to you? ¿Algo que no esté claro para ustedes? Or is everything clear? Eh, esas preguntas que empiezan con la W. La respuesta siempre va a ir con el to be. Empezar con el to be, luego el verbo. Mm. Oh, no, 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 I, uh, no, no, no. Cuando me dices que va a empezar con el to be, I don't understand. No, no entiendo esa parte. Can you say it again? Pronombre personal. Oh, yes. Sí. Pronombre personal. There be. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then el complemento, the complement, el complemento de la pregunta. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, someone else have any other question? Alguien más tiene otra pregunta? Or are we clear? Teacher, eh, eh, es obligación la, la respuesta larga siempre. Obligation. Que... Obligatory. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Why? Porque como les decía, yo no puedo contestar sí o no. Por ejemplo, si me preguntan dónde están cocinando, yo no le voy a decir sí. Ajá. Que necesitan una long answer, una respuesta concreta. So, obligation, obligatory. Okay. Okay. So, any other question? Well, okay, so I'm hoping, espero que todo esté claro. Dado que última clase es casi que un examen. Desde ya se los estoy diciendo. Si no está claro, no le va a ir tan bien en ese examen. So please, ask questions. Pregunte. So if there's no questions, I'm going to move on. Nos vamos a mover. So, as it says here... We can also have contractions. Podemos contractar las WH questions con el verbo to be. And here we have. Who is is equal to. Who is is igual a. Who's. What is is equal to. What's. Where is is equal to. Where's. When is is equal to. When's. Why is is equal to why's and how is it's equal to how's. Okay, now let me let me listen to every one of you. We're going to start by, um, let me see, Wilfredo. Go ahead, Wilfredo. All of them, todos. Hello, what is? No, 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 we'll start with this. Uh, was, was, is, was. 
who 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 where is where's okay when when is when's okay uh, where is which why 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 is why is okay how is so how's how okay thank you very much Wilfredo now with Oswaldo. Yes. Go ahead, Oswaldo. Who is? Who's? 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 No, it's como J-U. Who's? Who's? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is? What? Where is? Where's? When is? When's? Okay. Why is? Why? Okay. How is? How? How? Thank no, you. How, 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 sí. No, no, no. But I, uh, how, an, are you to... no, the pronunciation is house. Yes. House. Ah, okay. Que suena como Pronunci a casa. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. the pronunciation is the same. En inglés, okay. a este tipo de pronunciaciones le llamamos homófonas. Que quiere decir, se pronuncia igual, pero el contexto y el sentido es diferente. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so Rebecca, go ahead with you. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Well, she's not there. So let's go with Julio. Who is? Who's? What is what? Mm -hmm. Where is where's? Okay. When is when's? Okay. Why is why? Mm -hmm. How is how's? Excellent. That was good, Julio. Thank you very much. Now, Patricia, go ahead. Uh, who is who? What is what? Okay. Where is where's? Okay. When is when? Why is why? Mm -hmm. How is how? Excellent. Good pronunciation, Patricia. Now, a volunteer. Una última persona. Volunteer. Yes, teacher. Me. Go ahead, Elena. And then we have who else? Who is? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is what? Okay. Where is where's? Okay. When is when's? Mm -hmm. Why is white? Mm -hmm. How is how? Excellent. That was really good, Elena. Well, that's going to be pretty much uh, what we have in this occasion for questions with present continuous. We have an example here. It says, is the girl laying on the floor? ¿Cómo responderías a esta pregunta? Um, let's see, vamos a buscar. Let's see, Jorge Luis. Yes. If I ask you, Jorge Luis, is the girl laying on the floor? Laying. Laying. Who is laying? Laying recostada. Recostando in that case. Si yo te hago esa pregunta, what would you say? ¿Qué dirías? Um, yes, the girl is laying on the floor. Yes, the girl is laying on the floor. Okay, esa es la una respuesta larga y siempre diciendo yes. Porque es una yes or no. Porque tenemos el verb be. Ahora, una respuesta corta. 
¿Cómo lo dirías? Yes, she's lying. Mm, ok, en that case no agregamos el verbo, solo decimos yes, she's. Boom. Yes, she is. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Jorge Luis. Now, um, questions, preguntas hasta el momento? No questions? Well, okay, so I'm going to move on. And this is the part of going to. Going to, ¿qué significa? It's pretty much as uh, ir. Going to, ir. So let me explain you a little bit about it. So in this case, when you said going to, it's like, I am going to. Es como decir, yo voy a. Este, es, este going to es ir a. For example, I am going to eat. Voy a comer. So it's like un futuro cercano. Something that you are going to do. Algo que sí va a hacer. We are going to eat. Nosotros vamos a comer. You are going to eat. They are going to eat. He is going to eat. She is going to eat. So, what it means, lo que significa es voy a, y luego el verbo, right? El verbo que puede cambiar. Puede ser, I am going to play. Voy a jugar. I am going to what to study. Boy, a estudiar. So everything is going to depend on the verb. Todo va a depender del verbo. Example. We have an example here. I am going to eat a sandwich, but you are going to cook pasta. Yo voy a comer un sandwich, pero tú vas a cocinar pasta. John is going to watch a film. Juan va a ver una película cuando María llegue. When Mary arrives. Okay. Do we understand? Entendemos esta parte. Teacher, y el verbo infinitivo siempre se pronuncia en presente simple. Cuando en presente. Ya, con... yeah, siempre. Solo lo único que va a cambiar aquí es el auxiliar that is going to depend on the subject, que va a depender del subject, y el going to siempre va a ir. Cuando okay. el verbo en infinitivo es el verbo en presente, normal. Eat, jump, play, see, watch, talk. Okay, gracias. Uh, all right, so any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? Well, okay. So I will stop sharing. Voy a parar de um, compartir. And we're going to go. Nos vamos a ir a un ejercicio. So just let me. Okay. This one. So just let me share the presentation once again. Okay, here we go. Okay, just let me zoom it. Here we have, so this is the uh, exercise that we're going to do. It's about present continuous. Aquí va a envolver either a question, puede ser pregunta, puede ser affirmative or negative. Ahí ustedes lo van a ver. What I need you to do is, lo que necesito que hagan es, use present continuous. That's it. So you can take a screenshot right now or take a picture of it and you let me know. So I will move to the next one. Puedo mover al siguiente. Can I move to the next one? Yes. Yes. And that's going to be all. So I said two exercises. Now, 
We're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna try to work together. So just let me move these people here. Here, this one to here, and this one here. Okay, please go ahead and join your rooms. Um, no, yo creo que no sé. Es, la, es like, puede ser, no sé. Like, no sé like. Claro, like. pero I like a lot. No, I like a lot. Like no, no. Me de gusta. Es de gustar, me gusta. I yo like. Allí no lo tendríamos que mover. Ahí no, quedaría no, como está. Ajá. I like, I like it. Like. Because so interesting. It's so interesting. I like. Bueno, dejémoslo así para avanzar y dejémoslo. Ah, ah, dale, dale. You. You. ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? Stealing. Still stealing. 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 No, o still doing. Stealing. Ahí sí va ING, ¿verdad? Ajá, ING. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hay que dejar la letra. Iría ya. en Stealing, ¿verdad? Uh Ajá. -huh. Still Stealing. Así. No, yo creo que la Y es ya no. Es tu índice ahí. No, no está, está bien. Así no, está bien. la I, la I. No, lleva la D en vez de la Y. 
No, no. Así, uh, eh, eh, así queda. Quitarle así, la I. Ah, así va. La griega no, la griega no. La I. Lo dice Sturen. Así. No, no, la griega no. La otra, esa. Esa quitarle. Y dejar la Y. Ok. No, okay. pero si es que se escribe de raro. Estudiando. No. No, no, le falta la otra ahí. Después de ahí, sí, ahí sí. Ah, sí. sí. Ok, veras. Bueno. Ajá, en la 7 igual. Ajá, porque es el Solo... Se le agrega el Igual que la 9. Ajá. Y el 10, help, helping, helping, ¿verdad? Porque sí. están, ajá, no, no están las reglas. Uh -huh. Sí, solo él agrega ING. El ING, helping. Uh -huh. ¿Y? Ya voy para allá, Entonces ahí sería y yo va, y yo estoy trabajando en un hotel, dice en el otro. Bajo. En el 2. En el 3. Ahí sería. La 3 es la sí, la, la, es continuación de la respuesta de la otra. Sí, es como una conversación. Uh -huh. Él está contando que va a estar trabajando en un hotel cerca de la playa. Y a mí me gustaría. Porque es un lugar interesante. Okay, so I see that everyone is back. Now, let me ask you, did you finish the exercises? No. You didn't. Now, uh, at least the first part, al menos ejercicio número uno, you didn't? Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, for tomorrow, uh, exercise number two, ejercicio número dos, hacer tarea. That's going to be a homework. Now, if by any chance, si por alguna casualidad, a usted no le queda tiempo, you don't have time during the day because you work, porque trabaja, let me know. Hágamelo saber ya, so I want, uh, no le voy a exigir que lo haga, but if you want to do it as a practice, si lo va a hacer por práctica, okay. but be honest, please. Does any one of you have any situation? Algún problema? No? No. Okay. So it means that that's going to be a homework. Sí, va a ser una tarea. I need you. Well, you will have until. Van a tener hasta las siete de la noche para poderle enviar. So um, seven, you will send me a picture. Van a enviar una fotografía de lo que han hecho con su nombre. Okay. So um, that's going to be until 7, hasta las 7 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. 
Okay. okay. So uh, that's going to be pretty much all that we have for today, guys. Remember to keep working on the platform. Por favor, eh, seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Yesterday, who, you didn't send me anything. No me enviaste la fotografía de el platform. So I received, creo que solo este, recibí. Ya, ya me cambió. O oh, it changed. Really? Yes. Teacher, a mí ya me enviaron el certificado. Oh, okay, that's great, excellent. Uh, what I need you to verify, lo que necesito que verifiques es que tus nombres estén correctos. Acentos, everything. Check that, and if everything is co correct, si todo está bien, that's excellent. So congratulations for you. que ya pasaste completamente pues el módulo número uno. So, um, the others, los, yes? Eh, ya completando la plataforma y le aparece ahí lo del certificado, hasta ahí llega. Llegamos hasta ahí y luego eh, administración se comunica con ustedes para hacerles saber cuándo va a ser la inscripción para el siguiente módulo. Ok. Porque pasarían a módulo, módulo número dos. Ok. Eh. Yes. Sí, este aparece ahí de que se puede reclamar el certificado, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero eh, todavía no he terminado. Eh, se, pu ¿Se puede hacer ya eh, no. reclamar el certificado o hasta que termine la. Yes, la porque si tú lo reclamas, de nada va a servir porque no te lo va, no te lo va a generar. Te lo va a generar de una manera errónea. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Gracias. All right. So, please, the other ones, los demás, remember. You have until Friday, hasta el día viernes a las 12, va a poder terminar la plataforma. A partir de ahí, no va a haber nada que yo pueda hacer por ustedes, chicos, ¿ok? Necesito que los que ya terminaron la plataforma y ya recibieron su certificado, verificar que su nombre esté correcto, apellidos, acentos, etc., ¿ok? And then if everything, if everything is ok, todo está bien, ok. Si hay algún problema, you let me know. Me lo hacen saber, so I can talk to administration and we can see what we can do for you, okay? So, okay. if there's nothing to add, that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for always participating, the one that are always participating. Uh, well, see you guys tomorrow at the same time. So, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night.